This may come as a shock to most people, but Activision only cares about money. <laughs> I know, right? It's hard to believe that all they care about is money. Hence, the main reason we will never see a public beta with any Call of Duty game. But before I explain the bullshit, the gameplay you're watching comes from Christopher. Now, it's not Christopher like a normal motherfucker spells his name. No, no, no. He gotta be all creative and shit. Christopher. That's the way he spells a motherfucker. Oh, and watch this commando lunge. This shit is absolutely fucking ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, he's playing Hardpoint on a map I've yet to actually see anyone play on. I've been watching these shits for a month and a half, and this is actually the first time I've seen anyone play on this map. I don't know what it is. I guess everyone likes to play on that yacht map, but this is the first time I'm actually getting to see some gameplay up on this bitch. Anyways, lots to talk about, but let me briefly go over the difference between a beta and a demo. So we're all on the same page here, because like I said, this is going to be a long ass video and a long ass rant now i'm not going to talk about alpha and pre-alpha and gold and the whole cycle of software because just a load of bullshit you guys can go google the motherfucker if you're really interested in all that shit right i'm talking about the beta phase of a game that is essentially the stage of testing most of the heavy programming is complete and it's time to test for bugs and bullshit so that a game can be released with minimal issues and there are two kinds of betas you have the open beta and a closed beta and as the name implies it's like the legs of a woman open means you're invited closed means you are not invited <laughs> A demo, on the other hand, is when a product is almost complete, and it's rolled out as a marketing tool for potential buyers. Demos are usually watered down versions of the final product, just so you can see if it's something you'll enjoy playing. What you see in a demo is probably very close to the final product that you can possibly get. So these are two totally different stages of the game. One is barely complete, the other is almost complete. That's the main difference between the two. That being said, Public betas are usually rolled out a few months in advance so that the developers can get some feedback and make adjustments and fixes before the game is actually released. A demo means the game is pretty much complete and you're just taking it for a test drive as you play the motherfucker. Now, how does all of this relate to Call of Duty? Simple. The one fucking thing Call of Duty desperately needs will never happen because Activision just wants to count its fucking money. It has nothing to do with the amount of money it takes to run a public beta. It all has to do with the amount of money a Call of Duty game will lose in sales once that bullshit is released. Now think about this. Call of Duty is the most popular game of the year every year. It's also the most polarizing. How many people will buy Call of Duty and how many people will say it's trash? I mean, I trash the shit out of it every fucking year. <laughs> But I bought four of the motherfuckers, and I received the fifth as a gift, and chances are I'm actually going to receive Crap Ops 2 as a gift this year for Christmas, but whatever, we'll see about that bullshit. But anyway, each year, more and more complaints are thrown at Call of Duty. Each year, playtime diminishes every year on Call of Duty according to the Xbox stats. Each year, DLC purchases are reduced because the user base shrinks over the course of the year. It means people are getting tired of the bullshit, but they still buy the game because they want to play with their friends and somewhat hope some of that shit has been taken care of this year. Now, what on earth do you think a public beta would do to Call of Duty's rep? <laughs> I mean, think about it. People will play a beta, a real beta, not a demo we're talking about, and they'll begin to rage. This game sucks. This game is incomplete. The connection is horrible. This gun is overpowered. That gun is overpowered. Blah, 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 blah. Fucking blah. That is all we'll ever hear during the beta because we hear it now after paying $60 for a game on a disc and end up getting a beta version of the game anyway since it's always incomplete and glitchy. <laughs> The only thing a public beta will do in the eyes of Activision is create angst among the community that Call of Duty is the same shit every single year. Because after all, most public betas are free. Companies roll out these beta at no cost to the customer, no cost to the gamer, because they rely on us to play the game to test it for them. But Call of Duty is different, because the game will immediately be judged. Which, to be honest, it's unfair to the developer, because the whole point of a beta is to gain our feedback to fix the shit. It's an unfinished product, and our role during a beta is to help them fix it. But being Call of Duty, it will automatically be judged, and people will treat the beta, which is an unfinished product, as if the game is 100% complete. So naturally, Activision doesn't want to put themselves in that position. People already pay $60 for a barely tested, unproven game. I mean, fuck, we pre-order the shit and we put money in Cocksucker Vision's pockets before we even have the game. Of course there's no incentive to make a public beta, because we pay $60 to get the public beta. <laughs> How shitty are the games upon release date? The game is awful the first week, from connection issues, to host migrations, to server stress, all of that shit can be tested out by the public beforehand, but it won't, because we're already paying for the beta, and the feedback we're given in those first few weeks in the first month is returned in the form of patches, and like I said in the last video, these assholes think offering up patches is considered gaming support. 
there's absolutely no financial incentive to roll out a public beta where fans will just get pissed off and not buy the game on release date because they're going to base it off of a fucked up beta. Just look at what Activision brags about every single year. Modern Warfare 2 is the best selling game of all time. Black Ops 1 breaks Modern Warfare 2's record. Modern Warfare 3 breaks all the records and outsells Avatar. And now all of a sudden, Black Ops 2 breaks Modern Warfare 3's record and it's the greatest thing since fucking soft toilet paper, which is bullshit. This is what Activision loves to brag about. This is what they use to hype up their game. The fact that everyone else is buying it. So why aren't you buying it? Look at every advertising you've ever seen for Call of Duty. Every single time. Everyone has the game. So you need to go get it so you don't fucking feel left out. They never tout the quality of the game. They never talk about how great the game is. They just talk about the money aspect. You know why? Because a public beta would ruin that little streak that they have. A free public beta would give undecided gamers, those who just go out and randomly buy the motherfucker because they don't want to feel left out, it'll give them a chance to test out the game and make an educated choice as to whether or not they purchase the motherfucker. And guess what? A number of those educated choices are going to say, you know what? I don't need this shit. <laughs> Hell, this year alone, Black Ops 2 is actually behind the sales pace of Modern Warfare 3. All the pre-order bundles, you know, the, the Prestige Edition, the Harden Edition, the Cocksucker Edition, all those special editions I already ranted about, they're keeping them ahead in money totals. But the reality is, the number of individual sales is actually down. Black Ops 2 has not sold more copies than Modern Warfare 3 yet. It's made more money, but it hasn't sold more copies. But you won't hear Activision say anything about that, oh, God forbid. Call of Duty actually sells less than it's supposed to, you will not hear Bobby Kotick brag about that for anything. As long as the money keeps coming in, they're never going to change their approach to business. And why not? We are continuing to give them business. As long as we continue to pay for this shit, nothing's ever going to change. The games will never improve because we're not hitting Activision where it hurts. It hurts them? right in the fucking pocketbook. It hurts them right in their bank account. Who gives a fuck if people say the game is a worthless pile of monkey shit when our wallets tell them it's good enough to spend $60 on? Hell, I'm sure Treyarch and Infinity Ward would actually love to roll out public betas. They would probably like to actually get our feedback ahead of time, but crap division doesn't let them. This isn't on the developers this time, but not rolling out public betas is solely the decision of Activision. Nobody else. The developers have no say when it comes to an actual public beta. However, if you notice, Call of Duty games do have closed beta tests, and usually they invite the biggest fanboys and douchebags possible. That you can't blame on Activision. <laughs> that is clearly Treyarch and Infinity Ward fucking themselves in the ass over and over every single year on that one. None of the dickheads they use in closed betas give a fuck about the bullshit in the game. Who do they invite? MLG players who only care about what advantages they will have in beating other people. You think they give a shit what's overpowered in the game? Fuck no, because they're gonna use it. They don't want overpowered shit nerfed. You think they care about cheap tactics or loadouts? Of course not, because that's what they use in their tournaments. If anything, MLG players are the worst breed of people to test the game. They're looking to get paid through tournaments, and they're looking to use the most powerful shit and as many cheap tactics as possible to get them paid. They don't give a fuck about graphics. They don't give a fuck about animation or screen tearing. They just want to find out the best headshot glitching spot so that they can go out in their little fucking tournaments and win money. That's all they give a fuck about. Another set of testers, large YouTube channels. Because they can get the word out to subscribers to promote the fucking game. They're invited to test these stupid ass fucking betas out. Do you think they care about broken shit in the game? Fuck no! All they care about is finding cheap ways of keeping their kill death ratio up and cherry picking videos that shows off some imaginary skill at beating up the bad kids. They don't give a fuck about what's wrong with the game. The only thing they care about is how much money this game will make them with their upcoming videos. Again, this is another shitty group to select from. The people you should be adding in the closed betas are the glitchers, are the cheaters, are the modders and the hackers. People that look to fuck the game up on purpose because these are the assholes who make the game miserable. These are the people that will show you the problems the game has with the security, with the glitches, with any fucking thing that's wrong with the game. I mean, shit, there are whole channels dedicated to this shit. So inviting them would be the chance to actually see your shitty programming being exploited. These are the people that should be in the closed betas, not MLG douchebags, not large YouTube channels who only care about beating shitty players with overpowered items to make money off of your games. Get the real game testers. But at the end of the day, that would make too much sense. I mean, why actually do something that makes sense when you can make money? <laughs> Activision is largely responsible for the beta issues, but the developers are the one who choose the testers for the closed beta. Both are equally responsible for the shitty quality of the games in recent years. And then, Fucking smile and laugh as they wipe their ass with $1,000 bills telling us they will listen to our feedback for the next year. Get the fuck out of here, man. As you can tell, 
I've had it with their bullshit and how they treat us. Because without us giving them our money, they will be out of business. These cocksuckers will be busting tables or wiping the ass cracker lines at a zoo so visitors won't see shit stains on their fur. We control the success of Call of Duty. And so far, that success isn't measured in quality. It's measured in dollars. Anyways, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all the good shit. Like I said, man, plenty more rants coming because I got a whole lot of bitching to do.